Good morning, Ballerine Peninsula family. Wow, what a roller coaster we're on. This morning, Di and I want to encourage you. We share with you the frustrations of the current lockdown restrictions. The frustration of going back into isolation and being once again disconnected from community, grieving of lost freedoms and friendships, back to homeschooling and working from home and the constant need to adapt and change our methods. There are so many stresses. But this morning, we want to remind you of the reoccurring message of God that he gives us in the Bible. It's not only a written word, but a living reality in our hearts. He says, be still. Be still and know that I am God. He invites us to stop stressing, stop worrying and be still and remember that he is God, that he is here present with us in the mess, a friend that stands beside us working with us to redeem his creation. This is not only good news, but he invites all of us to be his representatives in this mission, to be his loving reality, his peace, his presence as the friend that stands beside each of us. How do we participate in this peace mission? Well, we begin by being still, getting a good perspective that the presence of Jesus is here with us. We have nothing to fear, no matter what we've done, no matter how far off track we've deviated, God is amongst our spiritual family, calling us to himself and inviting us to journey on mission together with him. When we let go of our fears and rest in the living reality of God, we remember that he's actually looking after us. He is our provider, our protector, comforter, shield and our strength. There's nothing going on now he doesn't know anything about. He's God over everything leading us into the unknown, able to face any obstacle that comes our way. This is good news for all of us. What makes it easier and brings joy to the journey is when we, his followers, give to each other as they have need. So look out for each other, listen and empower each other. But most importantly, listen to God and do what he says. During this pandemic, we've seen firsthand ordinary, everyday people doing extraordinary things. People responding to a desire to help make things, share things, listen to others and bring peace and encouragement to them. Our community is amazing. As we go back into lockdown, don up our mask and venture into the unknown yet again. Let's bravely follow the call of Jesus. We need an, or an army of ordinary people who do extraordinary things. Firstly, we need to rest in the reality that he is with us. Then simply respond to the call he places in our hearts to help those around us. We can all do something. We are all made for a purpose. It might be to give someone a call and tell them how valued they are. It could be buying someone a gift card for food and anonymously putting it in their letterbox with a kind note. It could be making masks. It could be writing letters or making videos of encouragement. Let's get good at listening, not just to people, but to what God is laying on our hearts. In the Bible, Luke 10 says, go with nothing. Just go with who you are and trust in God. God is the gift for us to receive this pandemic. We first need to receive the gift for ourselves. And as we do, this gift will naturally be passed on to others. So we all need help. We are all struggling, but together we can all make a difference. We will be surprised by hope. We will be surprised what difference can be made when we all do our part. May God bless you and raise us up during this time of lockdown. And through it all, may his presence be felt amongst us. As we follow him, may he raise up households of light and life who choose to trust and follow him. God will do his work in us. Let's show the world the reality of God by the way that we choose to love. Because to love each other is to see the face of God.